Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we will take a look at the Dark Raven style and the enhanced version of the Dark Raven style. If you're wondering what's the difference between the two styles, in a nutshell, the eyes are glowing on the enhanced version and not so much on the regular version. So let's get this party started. So overall, it's not a bad looking style, but it is a very, a very busy style. I guess they tried to go overboard a bit uh, with the details by putting, adding a lot of uh, details to the style. Uh, it's a trick that is used uh, often, uh, usually to 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 hide a bad uh, a bad design. Uh, sometimes when designers don't have, uh, let's say, a strong design sense, they often compensate by adding a billion uh, uh, details to their designs. So that's why in the late 80s, early 90s, there was like an explosion of uh, artists who were pretty much over-rendering their drawings. They were adding a lot of, uh, of useless designs or a lot of, of rendering to try to hide the flaws in their, in their styles. So whenever you see artists like uh, Wallace Wood, uh, Bruce Tim, Darwin Cook, uh, these were masters because they were able to get a strong design with just a few lines. They were able to get a very minimalistic approach and still have a very powerful and strong design. In this case, I would say the design is bad, but it's uh, it's all over rendered in my taste. But it could be just me. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section down below. I removed uh, the gloves and the shoulders so that we could see the under design a bit better, and even uh, with the boots. Uh, for quite some time in the boots, whenever they made the, the leg styles, they built in some some sort of boots within the leg style, like you can see here. But obviously, if we do add the boots, we do cover those. So I thought it would be a good idea to be able to see what's underneath the boots. So you could easily use this style without using a boot style. So again, this style has a lot of details. So I thought we could take off the P, the back piece, so that we could actually see some of the details on the back of the chest piece. So here we have the enhanced version of the style. So the main difference again is mostly the eyes that are glowing, the eye motif that are glowing. Uh, the back piece is also a bit different, but it's uh, it's more or less the same style. I guess if you have the regular version of the style, and yeah, if you had some uh, some materials to it, uh, you probably don't need the, the the enhanced version, or vice versa. If you have the enhanced version, uh, you probably don't need uh, the regular version, at least not in terms of styles. Obviously, if you want to have the feet for both styles, then you will have to gather uh, both styles. So here I gave a single color to each piece of the style so that we could clearly see what is part of the gloves, what is part of the chest piece, what is part of the pants. Like you can see that big hanging thingy in the back that is actually part of the chest piece as opposed to the pants. gives us a good look at uh, what the NS version looks like. We will try out a few different materials uh, in just a second, but I can already hear you ask where or where can we get the style? Let's take a look. So technically the style comes from the Teen Titans time capsule. So you can see the NS Dark Raven gear and the Dark Raven gear. Another option, which might be the better option for a lot of people, is to just buy it from the broker. Although when the Teen Titans time capsule was first released, all the Dark Raven style was flagged cannot trade. So you could not sell the style or buy it obviously from the broker. So they were able to fix that glitch quickly enough, but the fact that for one day people could not sell or trade the style, uh, it pretty much created, it artificially inflated the price of the style. So the first day that the style was on sale on the broker, holy crap, the prices were pretty high. Uh, if you wanted to make a quick uh, $100 million, if you had an enhanced version of the chest piece or the head piece, or even the better yet, the back piece, you could easily sell those for 75 million, 100 million on the broker. Uh, sadly, I guess the demand wasn't really that high because the, cr the prices came on crashing uh, very quickly. So you can see the, the belt uh, started at the 20 million, but it goes all the way down to, uh, it went all the way down to 3.5 million very, very quickly. So here you can see the call for 54, uh, almost 55 million. But again, the price crashed to all the way down to 12.9 million. And that's the price right now. In about a week, the price should keep on going down for about a week. 
and then it should stabilize at some point. So we can see here the chest piece at the 99 million. But it didn't go down to 80 million. So you can still make a bit of money with the chest piece. The wings were a bit of a roller coaster. Uh, you may have seen in my Teen Titans uh, time capsule video, I, see, I passed over a few pair of wings because I was uh, basically looking for the collections at the time. But uh, then afterwards, uh, I opened a, a bunch of other time capsule to be able to try to get the wings and it just didn't happen. So I guess I got really lucky to get them at first and then not so lucky. Uh, so the wings were pretty expensive at first. Like you can see right now, they're worth about uh, 30 million. It goes down to about 14 million. So you can see the call at uh, almost 70 million. But the price went down to 19 million. Again, I know 19 million may seem like a lot of money, but the price should keep on going down for roughly one week. And then about a week, the price should stabilize a bit. So again, here you can see the chest piece for 70 million. And it went down to 24 million. And the wings, 90 million. Uh, the wings are still somewhat expensive at 53 million. So if you do get some uh, some wings, especially the NS version, you should be able to make at least a bit of money if you sell those on a broker. But I have to give my usual broker warning. These are the prices on USPS4 right now. Tomorrow, next week, next month, heck, later tonight, the prices could be different. Also, these are the prices on USPS4. If you play on the European server, the price will be different. If you play on Nintendo Switch, the price will be different. If you play on Xbox, the price will be different. And here we have the style with the small chroma material. And it does look pretty darn good with that material. Although you can see also how the style, the, the material influences the, the look of the wings. And I kind of like how it looks with the red metallic chroma material. So again, you can see the effect that the material has on the wings. Uh, pretty much all the materials will do something similar. Also, sadly, as you can see, some of the materials will cover the eyes of the character. You can sort of almost still see them, but not so much. So some of those materials will have a pretty funky look with that style. Now, let's try out a few materials. So here we have the black composite neon chroma 2, black composite neon chroma 3. Let's try the black neon chroma material, which everyone was looking for at some point. So if you want to see the eyes of the character, you will have to use the black neon chroma 3. Oh, let's try the blue phoenix material. Ooh, that's uh, I always find it a bit challenging to find a good style for the blue phoenix. So as you can see, the area around the eyes, the, the black part around the eyes, that doesn't, that doesn't seem to be affected by the material. So you can see with the blue spark material, uh, sadly we lose the eyes of the character. And recently everyone got the caregiver's chroma as a free gift, so... At this point, everyone should be able to reproduce this look if they want to. Uh, it does look nice in a white uh, white style. For the evil Dark Raven, uh, white actually looks pretty good on it. Now let's try the Dark Metal Chroma. Usually that's uh, one of the really nice looking chromas. Now we'll do... I guess Dark Chroma 2 is the better option in my book. The Enigmatic Chroma doesn't look bad. I kind of like the Forge material. Or even better yet, the Forge Metal Chroma material. Uh, the first material looks good too. So with first Chroma 1, we get the, the white eyes. The same with first Chroma 2. And then when we get with the first Chroma 3, as you see, we kind of lose the eyes. I love the golden neon chroma, but here I'm not I'm not too sure about that. Uh, the Harlequin chroma looks uh, pretty good. Oh, that looks even better. Uh, kind of 
looks nice and white, but maybe not. Uh, for the Heavenly Chroma, no. Oh, the Madness Chroma is actually pretty darn good. The negative speed force material, that's uh, one of the popular materials. But it does look pretty neat. Although again, we lose the eyes of the character. Uh, it does look cool with the opalescent material. I love the red metallic material. Looks good on everything. Oof, the red phoenix, nah, too shiny for me. Uh, looks pretty cool with the shadow material. I usually love the Steel Neon Chroma, but uh, somehow, I don't think so. Uh, it does look good with the Tenth Metal Chroma 1, a bit more shiny with the Tenth Metal Chroma 2. We have the Venom material that was added not too long ago, and most people uh, should be able to get it easily enough, but uh, not too sure about that. Uh, the Void material looks good with everything. Kind of looks good with the Wicked Chromo one. So depending on uh, which material you use, you might lose the eyes of the character. But it's the same with a lot of styles. A lot of styles when you use materials, sadly it covers the eyes of the, the headpiece. So with some materials, you will have to choose a headpiece where the eyes are not covered by the material. Or you will have to use some various Chromo materials to be able to get the eyes of the character. If you have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. I have roughly 2,000 videos about this universe online at this point, so if I don't answer a question right away, just search in my videos. Odds are, I already made a video that answered your question. Or click one of the videos that you see on your screen right now. Bye-bye.